Happy New Year! Is your New Year's resolution starting a new YouTube channel and not sure what's the best vlog setup? As an experienced vlogger slash tech YouTuber, I'll tell you 5 best gears right now. And the gears that I'm about to show you can fit in as little as in this mini tech pouch from PGY Tech or the slightly bigger tech pouch also from PGY Tech. And few gears of the five essential categories that I'm gonna share with you guys can fit into something big like a proper camera bag. This video is sponsored by Fuji Y Tech and they have come up with the mini tech pouch and also the tech pouch in three different colors. They are super duper handy, but I'll show you more detail in the middle of the video. The first of the five categories that I wanna take you guys through is camera. You definitely don't need a full on big camera, but a camera that can fit in a small, tech pouch such as this. The pouch can fully open for easy access. So here is DJI Pocket 2 which is a camera that I was using for the opening of this video. The biggest reason why I'm so still in love with DJI Pocket 2 is because it does have the dedicated microphone although you are right now hearing me from Rode Wireless Go 2. If you are using a separate microphone such as how I'm doing right now in this moment it can be a little bit troublesome because in the editing process you have to extract a WAV file and then put it on your video editor make sure that it matches the video clip etc yes it is complicated one more extra step that's so unnecessary time consuming in your video editing process whereas pocket 2 because it does have a dedicated microphone that does have really good quality new feature of mantis pod 2.0 that i want to share is that there is a remote control here. The reason why I'm holding it rather than using it right now is because I just want to show you that I really like using Pocket 2 by actually showing you guys the product. One thing about Pocket 2 though, I'm really hoping, but nothing confirmed, not even rumor or anything, but just my guesstimate, my wish, is that there's gonna be DJI Pocket 3. If there's any rumors coming up, then yes, I'll give you guys an update, so definitely stay tuned. Do subscribe to my channel. But if you're just starting out YouTube channel, then you know, don't buy any camera, but actually start with what's in this mini tech pouch from PGY Tech. Yes, the good old smartphone. You don't need a new camera gear because you already have one in your hand. Especially if you want to do outdoor vlogging where you do have a lot of sunlight, the camera inside smartphone definitely will work totally fine. And I certainly use my smartphone a lot in different settings to really show different angles of things. And the smartphone is definitely the most convenient second camera for me. But if you're starting out YouTube channel, this can be your main camera for YouTube especially in the outdoor vlogging setting. So right now I'm inside my smartphone so you can see the quality is absolutely amazing in the outdoor setting, daylight setting but if you're more advanced in YouTube and you want to get a bigger camera then I'm actually using Sony Alpha 6400. This is sort of an old model camera so this is not the exact model that I do want to recommend or anything but if you are thinking seriously thinking about YouTube then if you are getting a camera then make sure that you get a camera with interchangeable lens so for me I often use 16 Sigma 16 millimeter lens for my Sony Alpha 6400 but if you're doing outdoor setting if you're traveling etc then you definitely want to get a zoom lens and also make sure that you don't get a flip display like what I have right now but make sure you get the swivel design but I think now the camera makers they only really make the swivel design so it is perfect for vlogging and you can always put the microphone on the camera without any problem. So if you're thinking about doing a lot of indoor filming then yes getting a proper camera actually really helps because for me indoor in my studio I'm only using this camera with this lens. Not smartphone, not DJI Pocket 2 because it's just the lens is not bright enough it would be very noisy in small camera but yes getting a proper camera investing in it definitely pays off. The second essential gear that you need for a YouTube channel is a tripod. So if you run a YouTube channel, most of times you'll be actually working by yourself. So 
you need a tripod to stand the camera. So right now I do have Awesome Pocket on the traveling tripod, the Mantis Pod from PGY Tech. But my channel is more about the tech gadget explaining things. For me, number one tripod would be this kind of tall standing tripod. So if I actually do sort of um, stand it further, I make sure that this whole tripod is standing tall so that it's essentially at the same height as me. Or it's actually better if I can somehow get it to stand a little bit higher than me so it gets a really nice angle nice v-shaped chin rather than double chin if i have a small tripod that's standing on a level below my height so if you just wonder what kind of tripod I have, I do have Sleek GX6400. It's actually just a random tripod that I got, something that can carry a medium-sized camera. Don't get those flimsy, really super cheap tripod just for mobile phone because those will actually blow away in the wind. But I do find this kind of tripod not those massive ones because those can be too lengthy and so on but if you like moving around not carrying the big massive tripod because you don't need to do a lot of you know just stand still kind of video shot then PGY Tech Mantis Pod 2 is what I do use as sort of secondary mini tripod what I like about it is that it does have remote control that can connect to my Sony Alpha 6400 which is super duper essential for thumbnail photo the third essential gear that you need and i think one two three camera tripod and now microphone is so important so right now you are hearing me from dji pocket 2 directly on dji pocket 2 camera the wireless microphone from dji it really works wonders but when it comes to camera or mobile phone what i do use is rode wireless go 2 which is switched on so it should be recording internal microphone so this could be like a becca mic as well the mics and all the essential accessories can easily fit into mini tech pouch and everything including cables lav mic and so on they're easily accessible because these tech pouches can be opened 180 degrees with all these different pockets and elastic bands you can keep the pen cables and everything neatly packaged and here i'm changing the battery for sony camera and of course the battery is in in the designated pockets very safely stored both tech pouch and mini tech pouch can be easily carried with the side handle all these accessories are very well protected with the premium ykk zipper the surface of the bag is water repellent so it protects everything inside the bag but for the additional peace of mind there is a hidden pocket for the air tag the origami style pockets and well sought out design it also keeps sd cards very well protected and that comes to my fifth point that i want to highlight about youtube gears it is really important to invest into good quality sd cards for me for sony camera i am actually using sony sd card all these sd cards are kept well near the devices that needs them such as dji pocket 2 which can be held by tech pouch from pgy tech which is also big enough to hold even mantis port 2.0 for me, I'm using PGY Tech camera bag. It does have all the cushions to protect your precious camera gears for your YouTube channel, which could be your money-making business. And what I like about this particular camera bag, although I think a lot of you know decent camera bags would have similar functionalities perhaps, so do make sure you check, compare. But I do have full video on this backpack. But what I like is that it does open up. So I can always like open it up and actually access all my gears right away and now there are all these tech pouches that are newly launched by pgy tech i can actually keep my bag really really neat and it also does have nice cushion for your back as well as padding on the shoulder side as well so hope you found this video rather helpful to get you pumped up to start new youtube channel to start a youtube channel you definitely don't need a lot of gears i've shown you a lot of different gears because i'm a tech youtuber who likes to introduce different gadgets out there however for you guys to start a new youtube channel you definitely don't need a lot of gears you don't need any of the gears you can start with your smartphone and then start your way building up your gears that you need for your youtube channel such as microphone tripod camera bags etc and if you decide to go indoor then investing on lights and i also certainly found that these pouches 
from Fiji Wife Tech really helped me get organized because as you continue your YouTube journey you are definitely going to have a lot of cables a lot of batteries a lot of SD cards they can be organized into this mini tech pouch or tech pouch from PGY Tech so do check out the link down below and I'll come back with other interesting gadget review so please subscribe and like the video and see you